Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a ride, no doubt, my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you see me stack with that so, Laser Mission is a 1989 film starring Brandon Lee and Ernest Borgnine. Now, I did a video last week talking about Showdown in Little Tokyo, and obviously Brandon Lee is a guy who had a very short-lived film career because he passed away quite young whilst filming The Crow in 1993. Now, this is one of his very early films. Some say this is one of his more embarrassing films. Well, the only embarrassing film that he did, um, from what I understand. But um, to be honest, it's not that bad. Um, I think depending on the version of this that you get, the cut of the film and the quality, the picture quality especially, can vary. Um, the version I've got kind of looks a bit like this. It's in Aspect 4.3. I believe it was made for TV anyway, so that's not surprising. Um, but really the DVD version of this that I've got is very poor quality. Um, even the case artwork looks like it's been run off a photocopier. So you'd be forgiven for thinking this is actually a Blu-ray. It's not. It's just a blue case for a DVD. don't think they're trying to pretend that it's a Blu-ray. I think it's just the way that they did it. Certainly not trying to uh, present something that it's not because the uh, cover for this looks like it's actually been run off a photocopier. Um, it's not just the lighting in here on the camera, it actually does look that cheap, but it's not, it is a legitimate uh, DVD that's been released in the UK. Um, so, if you get this, from what I understand, this one is slightly trimmed down in terms of some of the violence and action that's in there. Um, I haven't seen any other version than this, so I can't really comment, but from what I've read, this version has been trimmed down, which might explain the PG certificate. Now, it's in 4.3 aspect ratio. Um, I believe this is a TV movie. It wasn't one that was made for a cinema release, from what I understand anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, can't picture anyone watching this on a cinema screen. But um, what's presented here does very much look like a TV movie. And uh, this, the sleeve itself, like I say, doesn't really sell it much more beyond that. Now, also, this movie is a PG certificate as well, which um, kind of surprises me when I'm actually watching this cut of the film. But from what I understand, it is actually a trimmed down version anyway, um, because some people were saying that the video tape version that they had of this was, uh, well, didn't have as many cuts in it and had a bit more action and violence in it. So it'd be interesting to see that. Now, you can actually cut out the middleman when it comes to actually watching this old home video. It is on YouTube, in fact. Um, see for yourself anyway, like I say, it's not the worst film ever, um, it does have a very low rating uh, when you follow things like IMDB, I think it's only got a 3.5 out of 10, which I think is a little bit low, because I tend to rate films in the context of what's being presented, this is a film that is very low budget, you can kind of tell, but when you kind of chip away at it, you can kind of see there is quite a bit of talent in some of the um, aspects of this movie. Obviously, the martial arts, you've got Brandon Lee, learned a lot from his father, evidently, if you watch his films, um, not just in terms of martial arts, but the kind of charisma that he brings to his on-screen presence. Definitely, you can see it shining through in this film. It definitely outshines the film itself. And I think from that point of view, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, as I say, if you kind of like these Saturday afternoon, uh, 5 p.m. TV movies, kind of what you get here, um, especially from this cut of the film. It's not too graphic or violent. It's only a PG in the UK, um, which is quite surprising given uh, some of the stuff that's still in there. But um, if you check it out, anyway, like I say, it's kind of that era of movies, so late 80s, if you've seen films like Rambo 3 or even The Living Daylights. So the movie itself is pretty much about a scientist played by Ernest Borgnine, who has a bit of knowledge and there's also a bit of technology to make a weapon out of the knowledge. It's during the whole Star Wars space weapons program of the 80s. That's part of what you get uh, in with the plot of this. Brandon Lee is a mercenary man. In fact, speak of which, there's a pretty good song from this film that plays occasionally called Mercenary Man. So yeah, the picture, pretty good song, uh, does get overplayed quite a bit, you do get a bit fed up with it after a while. Uh, having said that, going back to the plot, he's a mercenary that's sent out, deployed by the CIA to sort things out. There's a few plot twists here and there, 
Um, but nothing that you can't really see going from a mile away. It's very kind of uh, by the numbers, fairly cliche, routine. 80s action film but like I say give it a watch especially if you're interested in Brandon Lee as a guy as an actor as an action star and you've not seen this one it's worth going back there Uh, it's definitely um, my least favorite of the films that he's done but he still gives a good performance and this film is entertaining in the context of what you're getting it's a low budget fairly silly late 80s action adventure don't expect anything like The Crow or even um, Showdown in Little Tokyo. It's um, not quite as, as good as those films. Um, that's quite a range, a broad range that we're kind of talking about there. But uh, like I say, Brandon Lee's very good in this, so it's worth watching if it's just for that alone. So if you're interested in Brandon Lee movies, you can check out my review I did last week of Showdown in Little Tokyo, the Blu-ray 30th anniversary edition pretty good film better than laser mission um and it was a bit later on in his career by a couple of years also i did uh well i've done a few videos recently talking about the upcoming blu-ray box set well 4k blu-ray box sets uh bruce lee at golden harvest obviously brandon lee was bruce lee's son so if this video is of interest to you you might want to watch these videos and check that out because this is coming out in july this box set so i've been talking about some of the developments with that so check that out on the channel hope this video was entertaining um, and interesting for you for now i'll leave it there and say you can like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching <laughs>